Hello everybody, Bass from Technotalk here, and welcome to your second um, HTML tutorial. Uh, last time what we did was we just created this simple web page where if we look at it, we have the title saying this is the title, and the body saying this text is in the body. Now, let's say we had our code, and in the body here, we have this text is in the body, but what if we wanted to skip a couple lines and say this text is below the... Uh, below the first text. So this looks like, if you just look at it visually, that this is going to be before the first text. But what if we save this and went to our web browser and then we tried to refresh it? What the heck? It put it all on one line. Why would it do that? It's because HTML, when your browser is reading your HTML code, spaces do not matter. Um, and, and indentations do not matter. None of that matters because that's not what it takes into account. I could put like a million returns here and still save it and still go to my browser and it still would be on one line. So how do we tell uh, the browser that we want these to be on different lines? And not only different lines, but we want them to be their own. Okay, first, how we put them on different lines? We would need a break line um, tag. We would put that after the first line. Now the thing about this tag is that it is the second main type of tag in HTML, where instead of having a beginning and an ending tag, it's actually going to have um, only one tag because we only need to have one break and the way you do that is that you put BR for break line and then put a space and then put forward slash in the same tag so this is going to actually be the only tag that we need for break line and if we save this go to our browser refresh now this text is below the first text now what if we wanted to not only be a little below like what if we wanted okay we have this text here but then say we had more text like this text is in the second paragraph and then another break line Ooh, who cares um, and then we could have like a break line here so you're probably thinking this is gonna be cool but the only problem is that what if we wanted this um, we wanted this whole part right here to be in a different paragraph and this whole part in here to be a different paragraph would we have to put like a million break lines here not really actually what we would have to do is um we could use paragraph tags and what this is is that at the beginning of this paragraph we want this to be one paragraph and we want this to be one paragraph at the beginning of this paragraph we would have the tag p and then at the end of the paragraph we would have forward slash p so um, this is pretty much saying that everything between these p tags is going to be in one paragraph and remember the break line is still going to be applied and then we could just put this text in another paragraph as you can see this just kinda builds on itself and uh, it's actually pretty simple and now if we save this and we go and we hit refresh now it has this paragraph and it has this paragraph and the break lines are still applied and um, in between paragraphs you have a little space and that's how we do it now another um, common tag you can use is say in between these paragraphs you want to have um, a line which is pretty much kind of like a separator like in between you just want this horizontal line to go all the way across there's actually a tag for that which is another one like the break line tag where you only need one tag and it's actually going to be oh crap I think I forgot it actually I think it's HR I'm not sure um, we'll go ahead and find out a lot of this is just knowing what the tags are and then the rest is simple and what do you know? It was HR. What does it stand for again? I do not remember. Um, someone smarter than me probably does. But this just makes a long, long horizontal line that will make a separator. Now, um, what if we had more that we wanted? What if, okay, we have all this text here, but what if we want to have a header that stands out better than this boring old body text? We want it to be big and bold. We, would we have to resize it and bold it and everything? Nope, because HTML has something called a header, where inside of the body here, we can have a header and we could um, actually what the tag would be would be like h1 and then our header could be this is the header in all caps just to make sure that the messages get across and we could say forward slash h1 and now if we save this and go over and refresh we have this is the header this is the text is in the body uh, this is the second paragraph what the heck did I just do I just accidentally grabbed whoops I grabbed Basel files and put it in here uh my bad my bad why would I do that all right um ah, to reopen it that was my bad guys here it is again so this is the header and then you have all this in the body and remember we have the title up here 
And I think we have some time for some more stuff in this tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and learn how to put links in our web page. So exciting stuff, right? So still in our body, but outside of our paragraphs and headers and all this, we're going to need to be we're going to need to use a link. Um, say we want to link something to Google.com. We're going to use the link tags, which is actually not L or link. It's actually A. And don't ask me why. That's just A. It stands for anchor, I think. It's just weird. They named things strangely. And we're going to have the text just be Google. And what, what's going to happen is that Google is going to be highlighted blue. And when we click it, it's going to take us to Google.com. But you're probably thinking, wait, we put these tags, but how is it going to know to get to Google.com? We're going to actually need to put something in front of the, uh, inside of this first tag after A called an attribute. And certain tags have different attributes. In The, the A tag has an attribute called href which stands for hyper reference, I think, hyperlink reference or whatever. So we're going to say href equals, and then in quotation marks, we're going to put the destination that we want this link to go to. So we have HTTP, oh, that's three Ts, colon, forward slash, forward slash, google.com. And now if we save this, go over to our web page, refresh, suddenly we have a link down here. If we click on it, it goes to Google. And we can go back to our web page. And yeah, so that's a cool way to use links. And there's also a way to uh, link to another file in our... Actually, I have time. I might as well do it. Um, there's a way you can link it to another file, another uh, page of your website. So for this, you need to make another page, though. So say new. Go ahead and save it to this HTML file. So make sure you save it to the same directory as your other um, page was. And I call this, uh, I don't know, tutorial2 or whatever you're naming yours and save it as hypertext markup language save and then remember we're going to need to have actually you know what we can just copy and paste all this and just get rid of uh, this stuff so we have an empty body and then the title of this can be second page and then in the body here we can just have a simple uh, header that says this is the second page. Oops. Ah. And then we can just have in the body have it say. Actually, let's go ahead and put a line because we're cool and we can. And let's go ahead and just say, um, Bilbo Baggins is awesome because he is. Now we can save this. And make sure this is saved as well. Oh, uh, almost forgot to change the href here. So instead of putting the entire uh, URL for the website we'd want to go, we would just put the title of this, which is tutorial2.html. So the name of the file that is our second web page. And uh, the reason we can do this without any directory is because it's in the same folder. So now if we save this and we go over to our web browser and we refresh, it's still going to say Google because I haven't changed it. Actually, let's go ahead and do that right now just because I like being a perfectionist. Call the second page. Save it. Refresh it. And if we click second page, it takes us to this is the second page. And then uh, we might want to have a link that goes back to the first page. But yeah, that's all for this tutorial. Make sure to check back for some more HTML tutorials, Java tutorials, and C++ tutorials. And yeah, see you.